Leaving Albuquerque along the I-40, you'll drive into western New Mexico and arrive at a small town called Gallup, home to El Rancho Hotel and one of the biggest food challenges in the entire state. You better come hungry. Hanaro's Giant Sopapilla Challenge is about 10 pounds of deliciousness and you only have 30 minutes to get the job done for a free meal. Otherwise, it'll set you back 40 bucks. With no fanfare, no BS, and no stalling, it's time to see if I could conquer one of the biggest solo food challenges I've ever come across. Just right now, but... Can we take a bite? Yes. Welcome back to another Freak Eating Challenge. We're in Gallup, New Mexico today, and this is actually the first sopapilla I'd ever eaten. And from what I've read, a sopapilla is basically a fried doughy bread that originated in New Mexico about two centuries ago. This sopapilla was on steroids, of course. As you can see, it's the size of a pizza pan and loaded top to bottom with everything that you'd expect on a platter of nachos. Beans, ground beef, lettuce, guacamole, salsa, copious amounts of cheese, and great gobs of green chili. I was given the choice of either red or green chili, but I had to go with the green since this is New Mexico and they don't do green chili where I come from. The green chili was a little hot here, but that's okay, you only live once and a little spice never hurt anyone. Thankfully, everything on this massive dish was insanely tasty. That's the good part. The bad part is there's literally 10 pounds of food in front of me and I only had 30 minutes to get through it all or I'd owe the house about 40 bucks. There's very little information about this challenge online. And from what I've seen, most challengers have received a plate that looked smaller than mine. When my food came out and I lifted the pan to take some photos, I realized I was getting the big portion today. No worries, sometimes you need a big test to rise high. Fortunately, pretty much everything on this plate could be swallowed without chewing and that's pretty much what I had to do with such a short time span in front of me. It became disgusting after a while because at that point it's no longer eating. You're just transferring food down your esophagus and into your stomach as fast as your anatomy will allow. If this food was really crunchy or chewy or it couldn't be swallowed rapidly, I think I would have had virtually no chance to beat this challenge. 10 pounds in 30 minutes is a pace I'd never needed to keep before. About halfway through I realized this was going to be a very difficult finish and one way or another it was going to be close. Either I'd win with a minute or two to spare or I'd get right up to the last few seconds and I'd have no room to put food in and I'd vomit at the table. One or the other. It was really one of those types of situations. Easily the toughest solo person challenge I've taken since the giant 11 pound burrito in Fresno a couple years ago. Now there aren't many food challenges in the entire state of New Mexico, but the ones that do exist will push you to the edge. The people who work at Hanaro's are really awesome people. One staff member was filming the entire challenge for the restaurant Facebook page, and the owner was there encouraging the regulars to cheer me on to victory. We were actually getting quite the crowd for a moment there. I know the owner takes great pride in the challenge, but she also takes great pride in the food more generally. And this was one of those super delicious challenges. How much does it weigh? For? It's like between anywhere from seven to nine. It varies a little bit, you know. I got it, yeah. That's normal. We do our best to weigh it, but it's hard. Yeah, no. Gustavo. <laughs> The guacamole was absurdly fresh, the beef and beans were cooked to perfection, nothing was burned, and the dough of the sopapilla felt pillowy. I didn't realize at first that there was actually a bottom part to the sopapilla, and that's when I wondered, really wondered, if I could get it done. This thing wasn't just topped with food, it was stuffed with food. Easily among the 5 or 6 biggest challenges I've ever taken on. You know, that might make an interesting video one day, looking back at the biggest food items I've encountered in all my years of doing competitive eating. But at the table, I just didn't want to fail. It's awful to eat for 20 or 25 minutes straight, 
and realize that it still might not be enough, that you might put in all this effort and still fail, and walk away with a full stomach and tons of regret. This wasn't what I expected at all when I walked into Hanaro's that day. Gallup is a small town, but their food challenge is truly a gargantuan entry that would make Adam Richmond's old TV show proud. There's only been a couple winners, maybe three at the most, and I was hoping to add my name to that short list of champions, of true Sopapia slayers. I apologize that the video looks a little gross by now. But I was in for a really tough fight, and in those last several minutes, I was holding back a lot of urges that were contrary to swallowing. In all seriousness, I was forcing that food down and telling all of my body's impulses to shut up and let me do this one last thing. Just one more bite. Just one more bite. Just one more. Every bite brought us a little closer to the end. Win or lose, I was going to finish the challenge at the dining table.
Yeah, that was uh, that was very big. Was it good? It was excellent. Or did it start grossing you out at the end? <laughs> yeah, too much of anything will will be tough to eat, but it was very delicious. Let me let me clear this up so you don't. Oh. Maybe it might bother you looking at it. Oh, sure, I'm okay. <laughs> Thank you. And boom goes the dynamite. It wasn't easy and it wasn't pretty, but the 10 pound sopapilla challenge was conquered with mere minutes to spare. It rests in the freak eating history books. For beasting this challenge, the $40 meal was free and I got a hat, shirt, bag, and pen. That's right, pen. And my picture with the owner will go on the restaurant wall of fame. Truly a big day in the world of freak eating. Our travels in New Mexico were nearly over and that evening we headed west into Arizona. Click the like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to Freak Eating Today so you don't miss the next set of food videos. We'll be back in California. Till we eat again, stay in school, don't do drugs, and eat like a freak.